Hey number ones, welcome back to my channel, this is the Metaplan speaking and where on green planet Earth is my armour? Gotta give it to them, I really like this hat. Now some of you have been here with the channel since the very beginning, you've been here forever and I'm grateful for you. But there are many others who are sort of new, both in the community of the sword and specifically in the community of noble ones here at the Metatron channel. Some of you may not know that a while ago I started a project through a crowdfunding campaign to try and have produced a late 15th century northern Italian Milanese style full plate knightly armour. Gosh, that was a mouthful. It literally took me five takes to say that. Professional YouTuber might add. It goes without saying that I have a lot of gratitude for all those who have believed in this project and decided to support and to chip in. And I have received a reasonable amount of money, I mean you can see that, it's all public, I always keep everything public. I will leave a link in the description below which will go into details about this project, but on this video I would like to show you where we are at, what pieces of the armor have been made already because I've recently received some really awesome pictures and it's looking fantastic but i'd like to also tell you more about this project because it's going to be a multi-platform project meaning that there will be other youtube channels involved in all of this and in this representation of the late medieval italian knightly period i have asked craftsmen of taurica an armorer based in crimea to produce this tailored suit of plate armor and they are my favorite armorers Ever. I think they do incredible work. I mean, this helmet they made, and my armor will also be this level of both this kind of steel, um, pearl polished steel. Now, the picture I'm going to show you, they are rough pictures, so not finished, but you have to imagine that that sort of armor will have this kind of polish at the end. But what you're going to see today is the breastplate, backplate, fold, and placket, which have all been made by them. So, I'm going to show you the pictures now, and after these pictures, where you will see what has been made already and how cool it is. I'm gonna tell you something that you don't know, you're not aware of, about other platforms that are helping me out in recreating this amazing late 15th century look. I'm really happy with this project and I think we're gonna see the armor soon in the next few months and I'm really looking forward to it also because we're trying to recreate a specific look and uh, I'm going to work together with some big names that you will see later on here in the community of the sword and beyond but also I've been working together collaborating with my girlfriend as well well she's a youtuber as well she's got a makeup channel and I did a lot of research on the look of a medieval dame because you do, you, we don't really want to represent a medieval knight alone we want him in context if you are not just a history buff but let's say you're a dungeon master let's say you are a historical writer of fantasy or historical novels what would a medieval woman look like and for that you could have a look at the, at the video that is already on my girlfriend's platform you'll find a link in the description below i did a lot of research for that video and she put a lot of work to try and recreate the look of it the acceptable look of a medieval woman of upper class and what sort of ingredients they would use my girlfriend spoke about all of these things and she did a lovely job at recreating this if you want to describe more in depth 
a medieval woman, for example. That's already there, and we will continue doing projects together. If you want to support this idea, perhaps you could comment uh, underneath that video saying, hey, I support the project, plus one, whatever you want. Uh, if we see enough support, we will recreate ro the Roman look of a woman, and even war paint. Three reasons why it's taking so long, and it's not just my case, it's also the case with many other content creators. I mean, 2020 is armor year. Lindy Bege is getting armor, Matt Easton got his armor, I'm getting armor, I mean, Shad should armor up, to be honest, we should all armor up, and perhaps make a, a lot of content together. Uh, there are three reasons why it's taking so long. Reason number one, these armorers, they are so skilled, and they get a lot of requests. Orders are placed by other people. Now, personally, as my own policy, not only as a channel, as a content creator, but also as a person, I never want to try a news and never will use my platform and the popularity of my platform to trump other people, to get priority over people who place their orders before me. No, no. I was raised right. I think that's not right. I think that's immoral and I'm not going to do that. You do your thing. You take care of other people's orders first, as it should be, and then we'll talk about my armor. To that add COVID-19 slowing everything down and also the fact that the armorer, a craftsman of Taurik, actually had, had to undergo bone surgery, believe it or not. So that also made everything slower, unfortunately. Luckily, he has now recovered and started working again. The plate component is being produced. I couldn't order the legs because the crowdfunded money ran out. <laughs> I mean, I used all of it for the rest of the things that I mentioned, but uh, I will be using Patreon donations also to uh, buy the uh, full plate legs. And again, if anyone wants to chip in, thank you very much, but please keep in mind one thing. If some of you decide to donate to the cause, either through the crowdfunding page or through Patreon, please do it only after seeing how much money I've already gathered and how much money I make on Patreon every month. All of this information is there. I will always leave it public because that's my policy. I know some content creators prefer to uh, hide how much money they make on Patreon because they think, hey, if I do that, maybe people uh, will be more inclined to donate, whereas if people see how much money I make every month, they might feel that, they, that I make enough already, but I don't like that. I want to be crystal clear and I want you to make an informed decision. So if you want to support the Metatron channel, I'm obviously very grateful for it. And you know that I'm going to use that money to make, to get this armor and to finish this project. But if you need to decide between supporting me or supporting another creator, then please look at how much money we both make. And if you don't have enough money to support both and the other creator is not making as much money as I am making, then please support him rather than supporting me. I, I just want to be 100% sure that you do what you do because you choose to do it. I don't want to deceive in any way. And I'm surely going to try and involve great channels such as Modern History TV, Shad Diversity, um, uh, Scholar Gladiatoria, and hopefully they will join in and help me out with this project of representing the Italian medieval period as accurately as possible.